operating your new How Ice Flaker. Turning on the switch on an RL model Ice Flaker will start up the machine provided the ice bin is empty and any remote switches or controls are closed. Some flakers will have the optional clock timer kit which will automate the scheduling of when the flaker will operate. Setting and adjusting the How Clock Timer Kit. The I-Auto-O, number 7 on the diagram, controls the output for the timer. The I position, the output is closed, the flaker is running. In the Auto position, the output will be opened or closed based on the timer set point schedule. In the O position, the output will be open or unit turned off. The Run switch, number 8 in the diagram, is for setting the current time. Switch position to the left clock. The program mode, switch set to the right position, and for setting the program run times, and the middle position is run for the normal run program mode. The remaining programming buttons are as follows. Number 9 is a program set button. Number 10 is a day of the week program. Number 11 is the hour button. Number 12 is a minute button. Number 13 is a skip button. And finally, number 14 is a reset button to erase all settings back to factory default. The days of the week on the LCD screen may be indicated in by 1 through 7 or by letters of the weekday. The far right position would indicate program is set for all 7 days. To set the time of day, set the right switch, number 8, to the left position, which is the clock position. Then press the 1 to 7 day of the week button a number of times to select the current day of the week. Press once for Monday, twice for Tuesday, etc., etc. Once the correct day of the week is selected, use the hour and minute buttons to select the correct time of day. Now move the switch number 8 run or the center position to activate the timer. In this example, we are setting the local time to Tuesday at 9.05 a.m. To set the time of day, set the right switch, number 8, to the left position, which is the clock position. Then press the 1 to 7 day of the week button a number of times to select the current day of the week. Press once for Monday, twice for Tuesday, etc., etc. Once the correct day of the week is selected, use the hour and minute buttons to select the correct time of day. Now move the switch number 8, run, or the center position, to activate the timer. Press the P program button once to enter the first on set point. Next, set the day of the week button, 1 to 7 button, to select the day or days this set point is to be activated for. Press that button from 1 through 11 times to select which day this set point is to be used for. Pressing it 11 times selects Monday through Sunday. As you press this button, you will see the corresponding triangles under the corresponding selected days or days of the week in the LCD screen. Once the correct day or days is selected, use the hour and minute buttons to select the program start time. Next, you will use the program button again to set the desired off time. Again, press the day button, the 1 through 7 button, the appropriate number of times to select the days of the off time should be activated followed by the hour and the minute the unit should be turned off. You will repeat the above steps for any additional on and off cycles. Remember, for each program on cycle, you'll need to program an off cycle. Lastly, ensure the left switch is set to the auto position to operate the flaker to the desired program schedule. If scheduled off, it will stay off until the next scheduled runtime. The How Clock Timer Kit includes a a 1 to 60 minute wind up timer installed on the time clock panel. 
This allows the flaker to be manually started for up to one hour while the flaker is in the off or scheduled off program. As a safety precaution, the clock timer and the bypass override timer will only operate when the photo eyes see each other and the bin is not full of ice.